good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at East Metropolitan Park in Manor, Texas, where the Manor New Tech Titans are facing off against LaGrange. It seems to be a difficult one for the Titans right now as the score is 8 to 0 at the top of the third at the 9 to 0, excuse me, at the top of the top of the third. And he slaps that one into midfield and he as he gets to first base. Titans are working with one out right now. That's going to go down as strike ball number one. And that one is a little too close to the batter. That's going to go as ball number one. And a miss swing there for LaGrange, and that's going to go down as strike number two. And he connects on that one right there, and they're going to get him out. Well, almost out on second base. Simple mistakes are killing the Titans right now here in this inning. Nice pitch right there. From number 17, Daniel Cortinas. The Titans are trying to fight their way back into this one. And that one's going to be a foul ball. Just a little connection right there between the bat and the ball, but couldn't quite get a full connect connection on that swing. And that's going to be another foul ball. As we see, LaGrange has a man on third base trying to get a, get a good head start so he can come in for the score. And that pitch is going to be a little too close to the batter. And that one's going to be tipped over the backside of myself and the fans. And he slaps that ball way to the left side of the field, but it's going to be a foul ball. That one almost looked like a home run, but not quite. And 
You would want to think the pitcher is trying his best to strike out his opponent. And that ball is going to be high at the head level of the batter for LaGrange. Cortinas has to be careful here. One more ball and he gets the chance to walk to first base. As he does. And that's going to be an automatic score for LaGrange as they already had three bases filled up. And that's going to give them another point on the board to make the score 11 to 0. Nice pitch there from the from Cortinas. All bases filled, and that one's going to be a ball. And LaGrange is going to end up scoring on that play as well. Just simple mistakes th from the Titans that, are, that have put them in this large deficit early on in this game. And he connects on that swing right there. And LaGrange is going to get another score as well. As I think he called that out on first base. Score still 12-0. And he slaps that one and it goes right back to the pitcher, but he couldn't quite connect on it. And that is going to be a good throw from the pitcher to first base to get out of the inning. And we'll be right back to bring you the bottom of the third.
And first up at bat for the Titans is going to be number three, Jonathan Maldonado. Lined up on the left side of the plate, and that first pitch from LaGrange is going to be too far out on the right side. And that pitch is going to be a little too high. We're at two balls now. That ball right there is going to go down as a strike. One more ball and Maldonado gets to walk to first base as he as he misses the swing on that one. And that is going to be a strikeout. Good pitch right there from the pitcher from LaGrange. Next at bat is going to be number two, Jackson Williams. And that first pitch is going to be a strike. That ball is going to go far up and it's going to go down as a foul ball. That one a little too close to the batter. And that one's going to go high above the batter's helmet. That, ball, that pitch right there too far out to the right side once again. And he's going to walk to first base. There goes something positive for the Titans here at the bottom of the third. Good start. Next at bat is going to be number one, Darius Stewart. And that pitch is going to be a little too far to the right side again. Another pitch like the w the previous one. And the pitcher tried to catch Williams leading off a little too far out of base. And it looks like the coach is signaling s for Stewart to bunt the ball here. And he's going to walk as well. The Titans now have two basemen on first and second base. Next at bat is going to be number 17, Cortinas. And it looks like LaGrange is huddling up at the pitcher's mound. Discussing game plan.
lining up on the left side of the plate. Let's see if Cortinas can get can help his team put some points on the board. And that swing that's going to be a swing and a miss. Nice pitch right there from Lagrange. And he's going to connect on that one fully. As there as the Titans are going to get three men on base. Good job. A positive outcome for the Titans here at the bottom of the third. Now at bat is going to be number nine, Matthew Ruiz. That first pitch is going to go down as a ball. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. And it kind of looked like the same pitch from before, but it looks like the LaGrange pitcher is going to keep baiting the batters to step a little far out to the right side. That's going to be another swing and a miss. That's going to go down at strike number two. Almost a strike, but luckily tipped right there on that swing attempt. And he's going to get it on that one. And the Titans are get, going to get a point on the board as Jackson Williams score. Score is now 1 to 13. The Titans have a man on third base and a man on first. Now at bat is going to be number 16, Braylon Thomas. That pitch is going to be a little too close inside, almost by the batter's arm. And that's going to go down as ball number two. No swing attempt there. That's going to go down as strike ball number one. And that's going to be a strikeout. Good pitch, pitch there from the batter from Lagrange. Crowd not too pleased with that one, with that call from the Empire. Now at bat for the Titans is going to be number eleven, Andrew Cyphers. That ball is going to go down as strike number one. One more strikeout. And LaGrange is back at bat. And that ball is going to be high up as they go for it. And it is caught. Good play there by LaGrange. And that's going to take us to the top of the fourth. And we'll be right back.
coming up at bat for the Grange is going to be number one, Wick. And a change at pitcher for the Titans. Now a pitcher is going to be Stewart. And that ball is going to be a little too far up above the batter's helmet. That one's going to go as ball number two. As you can see, Wick is not biting on any of the pitches so far. And that's going to be a walk for LaGrange. Now at bat is going to be number four, Cruz. My apologies, that bet is going to be span. And that pitch right there is going to go down as a ball, as the ball hit the dirt. That pitch right there is going to go down as another ball. And that's going to be another walk for LaGrange. Now with two people on first and second base. Now a bat for LaGrange is going to be number 19, Wilder. As the Titans are going to have another change at pitcher. Now at the top of the mound is going to be Cyphers. As we see Cyphers is getting a chance to warm up. Wilder is lined up on the left side of the back of the base. And that one is just tipped 
right there. Couldn't fully connect on that swing. And that one's going to go down as a foul ball. That pitch a little too far high. And he's going to walk Wilder and put LaGrange with three men on base. Now at bat for LaGrange is going to be number 15, Pyle. going to be lined up on the right side of the bat. And that pitch is going to go as a fa as a ball. And LaGrange is going to score and come in for a run. Good job by LaGrange. Score is now 14 to 1. That pitch is going to go down as a strike. And that ball is going to go as a foul ball as the ball went over the backside fence. And that pitch is going to be a little too far out to the left side. And he's going to walk pile as well. Now at bat for LaGrange is going to be Hall, number 11. All bases are filled. Let's see if LaGrange takes advantage of this opportunity and puts some more points on the board. And he's going to fully connect on that one, but a little far out to the left side of the field. And that one's going to go down as a foul ball. That pitch right there is going to be down in the third. And that pitch a little way too far out to the right side. Oh, 
And he fully connects on that one. And the Titans make a play in the outfield. Good job right there by the Titans. Now that bat is going to be number two, Wolf. And a swing and a miss on that first pitch. Green still has all bases filled. Almost fully connected on our one, and it is going to go. It's going to be a foul ball. Nice swing on that attempt, but couldn't get it to go forward into the outfield. And that is going to be a strikeout. Good job there by Cyphers. Now I bet it's going to be number 13, Barnes. As he almost slaps that ball right out of the park, but couldn't quite do so. And that ball is going to be far on the left side of the batter. And LaGrange is going to get another run. Score is now 15 to 1 at the top of the fourth. And he fully connects on that one. And another mistake there by the Titans. So we seem to have a man injured out on the field. As he seems to be okay, which is a good sign. Now at bat, it's going to be number five, Barber.
that pitch right there is going to be a little too far out to the right side and Barbara almost attempted to swing but pulled back Titans have two outs on the board. And that is going to go down as a strike. And that's going to go down as ball number four. And that pitch is going to be far to the left side. At bat is number eight, Emhoff. And Lagrange is going to run in for another score. Score is now seventeen to one. That pitch a little too close to the batter. And that is going to be another walk for LaGrange. And it seems like the Titans are going to have another change at pitcher. Now pitching for the Titans is going to be number nine, Ruiz.
and that's going to be full connection and hit right there on that swing that's going to be another score two more runs for two scores for Lagrange First pitch is going to be far to the right side. Lagrange has a man on first and third base. It's going to be strike number two. At bat is number four, Span. Minor mistakes seem to be putting the Titans in a bigger hole, and that's been the problem this whole game. And a good pitch on that one right there. And that's going to be a strike. And that's going to be an out right there for the Titans. As we reach the bottom of the fourth, your score is LaGrange 19, Titans 1. Coming up first to bat for the Titans is going to be Easley. And pitching for LaGrange is going to be Hall, number 11. And that one is tipped, but it's going to go down as a foul ball.
that's going to go down as another foul ball. That's good swings on both batting attempts, but couldn't quite get it out to the outfield. And he's going to knock that one out into the outfield and he's going to make his way to first base. Now at bat, it's going to be number five, Davenport. And that first pitch is going to be far to the right side. As well as the second pitch. And he's going to make his way to second base as the pitcher tried to catch him sleeping and get him out on first base. Good job right there by Easley stealing second base. And he, he's, he's going to make his way to third base. Just based off of minor mistakes from LaGrange. And that swing is going to be tipped and go, go down as a foul ball. Finally, a strike. And Davenport is going to get the walk to first base. Now at bat for the Titans is going to be number three, Maldonado. And that one's going to be a straight line drive right there as that pitch is going to go down as a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that one's going to be a strikeout for LaGrange. Good series there by Hall. Now at bat is going to be Jackson Williams. As Hall tried to catch a man sleeping and that ball is going to go down as a strike what a pitch by Hall and almost Almost a 
fully connection there by the batter. And that pitch is going to go down as a ball as the ball ball reached the dirt. And a swing and a miss. As Hall gets another strikeout. Now at that, that, it's going to be number one, Stewart. LaGrange has two outs on the board. And that pitch is going to go down as strike ball number one. He's going to connect on that one, get himself on first, and the Titans are going to get another run on the board. Good job there by the Titans. Now at bat for the Titans is going to be Cortinas. As the first pitch was a strike. And that's going to be strike number two. And that's going to be a foul ball. Couldn't stay within the white lines on the left side. And that's going to be a strikeout. Nice job there by Hall. As we reach the top of the fifth, the score is 19 to 2. And it seems like Ruiz for the Titans is going to remain at pitcher.
now at bat for LaGrange is going to be number 19, Wilder. At first, pitch is going to go down as ball number one. That's going to go down as a foul ball. That pitch is going to go down as ball number two. And that pitch is going to go down as ball number three. And that's going to be ball number four as Wilder gets to walk to first base. Good pitch right there from Ruiz. It's going to be strike ball number one. And that ball is going to be chased down but not caught. And it's going to result in another foul ball. And a nice swing right there. And it seemed like there was confusion out in the outfield by the Titans. Which resulted in two men being placed on base. Now at bat, it's going to be number 11, Hall, who just had a good series of strikeouts for LaGrange when he was on top of the mound. That's going to be another walk. LaGrange now with all bases filled. Now at bat's going to be Wolf, number two. That pitch is going to go down as strike ball number one. Uh, that pit pitch was too high.
And Wolf fully connects on that one and hits the ball in the perfect spot. And that's going to be two scores, two run ins for LaGrange on that play. Score is now 21 to 2. Nice pitch right there from Ruiz. That's going to be strike ball number one. And that pitch is going to be too far to the right side. And that one's going to go down as a dirt ball. And that's going to go down as a strike. And that pitch is going to go down as a ball. Too far to the batter's legs and shin. And that's going to be a strikeout. Good job by Ruiz. Now at bat for LaGrange is going to be number five, Barber. As that first first pitch was a strike. Nice hit right there from Barber. And that's going to be another run in for LaGrange. Looks like there's going to be substitutions made for the Titans. As we see number four, Porus, coming in at catcher. And we see Mathis, number 13, goes to the top of the mound.
Since we are here to wait the game to resume, as we see Mathis getting his opportunity at pitcher, so and he's warming up right now. And that pitch is going to be far out to the left side. There has been a lot of changes of at pitcher today for the Titans. And the Titans are going to make a play on that one and that's going to be an out. That one is going to go down as a strike. Good job, I'm at this. And that one's going to be a high ball. And the Titans are going to make a play on that one as well. Good job by the Titans. As we head into the bottom of the fifth. First at bat for the Titans is going to be Ruiz.
now with Ruiz at bat. That pitch is going to go down as ball number one. And that's going to be ball number two. Now pitching for LaGrange is going to be Wolf. And that's three straight balls for Wolf. And that's going to be a walk for Ruiz. Now at bat is going to be number 16, Braylon Thomas. And that pitch is going to go down as a strike for Wolf. And a swing and a miss right there, and that's going to be strike number two. And that pitch right there is going to be too far out to the right, far away from the batter. And a nice swing there. And that one's going to be almost a double play, but a mistake made by the first baseman. Couldn't really catch that ball right there. And that's going to put Thomas at first base for the Titans. Now at bat, it's going to be number 11, Cyphers. One out on the board for LaGrange. And a swing and a miss there. Good job by Wolf. And good play there. And another mistake by LaGrange as Thomas makes his way to third base. Now coming to bat for the Titans is going to be number 19, Easley. Titans now have a man on first and third base. That strike, that mean that pitch right there is going to go down as a ball. That pitch a little too high on that one. And that one's going to go down as another ball for Wolf. That one's going to go down as a strike as Thomas goes for home plate and does.
good job by Thomas right there coming in for another run for the Titans score is now 22 to 3 Easily is still at bat. And that's going to go down as a strike. As easily slaps that one out into the outfield, and the Titans are going to come in for another run. Good job right there by Easley, helping the Titans get another run on the board. Now our bat is going to be us. <laughs> and that pitch is going to go down as a ball. The brain still with one out on the board. That pitch is going to go down as a ball. And a swing and a miss there. And that's going to be a strikeout for Wolf. And Easley is going to make his way to second base. Now at bat for the Titans is Saucedo. And, and that's going to go down a strike. Number one. And it seems like the Titans are making a substitution on second base. Now at second base, it's going to be Holiday. That's going to go down as another ball for Wolf. <laughs> nice pitch from Wolf. And that one is going to go down as a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes for Wolf in this series.
and that's going to be a strikeout. And it seems like that is going to be the ball game, folks, as the Manor New Tech Titans fall to LaGrange in this matchup here tonight, losing 22-4. to I am Antonio Swain. I was pleased to be your broadcaster tonight, and we're logging out live from Vibe Media. Thank you. 